Before watching this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The Body Language Guide The Ultimate Guide to Mastering the Art of Reading Body Language The first use of body language begins in childhood. It helps to express our emotions and wants and the first way we learn to meet our needs. While learning to talk as we grow, we continue to use a series of different types of body language. People get higher odds by improving their ability to read body language. During communication, people use an average of 50% body language and 50% verbal. There are several types of body language, and we'll examine each of these in detail below. Aggressive body language Aggressive body language can come from facial, attack, and exposure. Facial signs that can provide warnings to a possible threat are frowns, pursed lips, reddening of the face, a sneering look, clenched jaw, stare downs with a squint, and jerking of the head. One would jerk their body towards you in an aggressive advancement. If picked up early, Many types of aggressive signals could save you from being a recipient of an attack or give you time to turn the aggression down. Assertive body language is a signal of potential physical threat or a verbal threat at the very least. People who have a dull look may truly show little to no indication that they are about to attack another physically. However, this is typical and some offer little outward physical cues that indicate they are about to punch you. Another type of aggressive body language is personal crossing space, psychological, or emotional limits. Fake friendships are instances of crossing all three of these limits. By claiming to be a friend to another with the intent of harm, aggressive body language takes on a chameleon effect initially. Attentive body language Attentive body language is the act of demonstrating through body language that you're listening to and hearing something another is saying. Gaping or nodding off is an example of inattentive body language. Being able to exhibit attentive body language properly can significantly impact whether or not you're hired when applying for a job or in every employment field that requires verbal contact with people. Another situation where having excellent skills in attentive body language is an advantage is in personal relationships and intimate situations. Intense, cautious body language shows you have a genuine interest in what the other person is saying, is pleasing, and will most likely result in mutual attention. One way to actively listen to another person through body language is by leaning into the individual talking. However, Respect personal boundaries when doing so. Closed body language. Have you ever asked yourself whether your spouse, friend, coworker, or manager was bored with all that you talked about, but you were not quite able to tell by their body language? Now, you will have the opportunity to know if what you are saying is falling on deaf ears. One of the first cues someone is tuning you out is their gaze level. If they are continually distracted by each little sound or movement, you may be able to figure out that they are not truly paying attention to you, irrespective of how many times they tell you they are hearing. If someone has no stake in what you are discussing, it is straightforward that they will lose interest and get bored quickly. When you're talking to a group or on a one-on-one -on -one basis, it is vital to use appropriate body language while speaking. Keep it brief and to the point. You do not need to re-describe the same thing in a thousand different ways to get your point across. Look out for clammy hands, feet, and twitching eyes. All of these are other indicators you have not caught your audience's attention. A huge clue is when a person starts to yawn or slouch. Deceptive body language A person, when lying, will often try to conceal their fraud by trying to gain control over their body language via forced smiles and amplified hand gestures. They will often speak, seem distracted, and prevent visual contact. 
It may present as odd, clumsy, or jerky presenting movements. But when standing, they may shift weight from one foot to another more often than usual. Everyone should be required to learn about deceptive body language. It can help you differentiate between being honest with you or trying to pull a fast one. Mind you, some people are pretty good at covering up deceptive body languages, such as salespeople, psychopaths, and criminally-minded people. A popular way to tell if a person is cheating by their body language is to watch for anxiety cues. The direction one looks when answering a question can help determine if the individual is lying. It is not necessarily a good indicator that we can use in truth-finding. Though, if a person looks to the right while responding to a question, you should pay close attention to what they are saying. It is a spontaneous action to look to the right when using the left side of their brain, the logic and analytical side, and looking to the left when you're using the right-hand side of your brain, the passionate and creative side. When a person is lying, they use the left part of their brain to frame a lie, which causes eyes to stare to the right. So don't judge someone just because of the direction a person is looking when they react to a question you ask or tell you a story. Defensive Body Language Certain people, when uncomfortable, will display defensive body language by placing a barrier between them and the person, or a situation that makes them uneasy. They might squeeze their keys between their fingers to use as a weapon if such a scenario were to arise. Another defending body language cue is when someone becomes stiff or rigid. Defensive body language shows a person with a sense of physical or emotional threat. When the person feels as if they are at risk of a physical attack, they automatically tremble to protect vital body organs. They may bend in a ball and tuck their head down. Dominant body language Dominant body language is closely associated with aggressive body language but at a lesser emotional level. The goal of dominant body language is to impress power over another, but not necessarily in an aggressive manner, more so authoritatively. A person showing dominant body language will often try to make their body appear more significant than what it is, especially men. An excellent example of using dominant body language over someone is a detective over a suspect in the questioning room. In the interrogation chambers, you will often see the police officer standing, making the suspect sit to give them a controlling height over the suspect. They may hold hands on hips with elbows out wide while standing with their chests and chin up. Often, they will cross their arms with their hands under their biceps to push them out more to give a more prominent appearance. Emotional body language. Many nonverbal signs can help you decide what the other person is feeling psychologically. Though they are not exclusive, and no two people certainly react the same way to the same incentives. What you might think should make a person sad may not have any effect on someone else. Expressive body language is an overly broad area as a person feels many different emotions. Anger, for instance, displays differently from happy body language. However, somebody's language signals of happiness can mix up with sad body language. It is helpful to know whether the person fears you or are just nervous about the situation or worry about it. It will help you put the individual at ease better and come to some solution to the problem. Standard body language signals of anger are a flushed, red face and neck, clenched jaw and fist, pacing, invasion of the personal space with no regard, and the use of aggressive or assertive body language. Fear, anxiety, and nervousness can all present remarkably similarly and all have common qualities in body language. Understanding the situation while reading the person's body language can help you better understand exactly which of the three emotions they are experiencing. Learning emotional body language is incredibly beneficial in helping a child express in words what their body is feeling. Fear, anxiety, and nervousness are hard ones for a child to distinguish. They may exhibit trembling lips, 
twitching eyes, voice tremors, stuttering, cracks in their voice, sweating, heightened pulse, clenched fist, muscles, jaw, and prolonged periods of controlling their breathing. Some may present as nervous, while others may take on a defensive or ready body language stance. Sadness body language exhibits slouching or drooping of the shoulders or body, almost limp-like, a possible shaking lip, tears, and a flat speech tone. Embarrassment can show with a reddened face, avoidance of eye contact, a grimaced look, or a meek smile. Evaluating Body Language Evaluating body language is how a person is using their body when assessing the situation. It could present in hand gestures when discussing how a backyard deck design should go, or determination of which way one must turn when driving. Individuals who generally do a lot of talking with hand gestures will display significant body language when assessing or thinking about something. Another way of evaluating body language is the formation of sorts, similar to praying hands while thinking. Professionals who wear glasses are known for this. Typically, their body will present relaxed and comfortable, although they are concentrating intensely. Greeting body language Greeting body language used as a secret signal passed between individuals to indicate a type of unity. Everybody knows that waving at another individual or shaking their hand is a form of greeting. The double grip handshake where not only is the extender shaking the hand, but the other hand is gripping the other person's elbow or embracing the other person's hands between both of theirs is meant to show supremacy. Though while shaking the hand of someone they are profoundly grateful to, Several people will grasp the other person's hand in both of theirs to show honesty. Other body language greeting signs considered to be an act of supremacy are shaking another person's hand with the palm down. In contrast, the palm up shows submission, and the palm sideways show equality. We can tell a lot about a person by the way they shake hands. It remains questionable, to say the least, as many things can affect this such as the type of day the individual is experiencing, and many other factors. A firm hand grip in the handshake shows trust, whereas a limp wrist with a light grip shows nervousness. Another form of welcome through hand body language is the high five, where two people slap hands in the air, fist bumps, or touch someone as a person walks by another person, such as at a party to show acknowledgement. More greeting body language is salute, in which the hand is brought up to the direction of the forehead or touches the brim of a hat and goes back out to the side again. Hugging and kissing are also types of welcoming body language but should be under advisements, such as with a romantic partner or close relative. One can read a person's greeting approach through their facial expressions as well. A smiling face will show the person is happy to see you, whereas a blank facial expression can indicate that the person could care less about you or your presence. A frown would be a good indication that something is wrong, whereas a tensed face with a clenched jaw should indicate to you that the person is upset or angry at you. Relaxed body language. Facial expressions are the main attributes of this type with a possible smile or open jaw. Voice tone is steady with no overstated high or low tone variations. The face will present without excessive frown lines and the senses will mimic the mouth. If a slight smile is on the mouth, there will be a small smile through the eyes. They will present eyebrows at their natural level without looking stressed. Relaxed body language and open body language coexist with each other in everyday aspects. A person's breathing is slower than average and steady, and the overall body force is relaxed without a tensed muscle tone. Even skin tone color will be standard overall. Hands, feet, and arms are not restless or jerking and are laid slightly in their lap or placed neutrally. Power Body Language 
In the business, world power is displayed and recognized by the staff members beginning at the company parking spaces. Those in power positions have always had the best parking places reserved for them. They display their class and quality via being given a particular parking space. It is the start of dominating space and presenting one status over another. Power body language is a form of leading body language and has a rescue hero aspect. People who use power body language regularly are in a position of power or want to act as if they are. If a person always appears to have control over your time and space, they are more than likely exhibiting a lot of power play body language, and that's one way they have achieved this power in your surroundings. Power greetings are one way someone will show their power over another. If you want to thwart a power handshake, offer a limp, weak grip. Don't fall for the power play and get into a stare down. Shattering the gaze yourself gives you back your power. Power players will also say where the other one will sit, either by pulling out a chair for you with a nod to sit, or with waving their hand in the direction of a seat when offering you a seat. When possible, if you want to reduce the power play, choose where and how you will sit. Power players will hold a stare longer than usual, another way of making the receiver feel uneasy. Although the look is not threatening, it is just enough to make the receiver squirm. A bit of counteraction for a power gaze is to look away. If you are meeting someone famous for power plays, go early and get your seat first. Power players are great at getting an extra weight over them. If there is a planned meeting, the power player may make everyone wait on them. Other common characteristics of power body language are an attack on personal space. By staying close to another person, stroking someone while speaking, putting a hand on another shoulder, and an assertive walk. Readiness Body Language It means what it reads as, being prepared for anything that may come their way. Think of a baseball player on the baseball field, ready for any ball that may come in their direction. Think of their stance. Ready body language occurs when a person's body is ready for action. The body turns in the movement's direction or from where the perceived effort came. An individual's eyes are at from where the action comes. Their body will be tightened up and ready for action, and they may be fiddling with their own hands or twisting on a piece of clothing or another object while waiting for the activity in high expectation. Submissive body language. Submissive body language displays overcome as well as they are used to signal fear. A submissive person will engage in the conversation with someone more dominant than them, but they will generally agree. Conclusion. Each part of one's body has a presence in body language. Each movement or lack of exercise can mean anything like that. Not everyone exhibits the same body language as another to convey something, such as in greetings. For one, it may be normal to kiss someone on either side of the cheek, but for the other, a simple wave of the hand serves. Some people place less emphasis on their body language, where others can overstate the same movement. Some people need larger private space, while others are quite comfortable with other people turning in close there are as many different facets to body language, and one can never stop learning. By looking at people, I am sure you will even pick up more body language signs than the short introduction referenced herein. Learning how to read body language will help you in all aspects of your life. Set up time to read your body today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed listening to and watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.